A lot of people take it out of character when they say, oh, the projects or moves and they hear the killings. What about the positive stuff? See, we don't get to do this type stuff, you know, as far as like being able to, we don't, we don't really get an outlet to really tell our story so people can really hear us. But now, a few residents of Richmond's public housing communities do have that outlet with the release of a new documentary entitled Heard. It follows four people who grew up in the projects who, despite the negative stereotypes of where they come from, have overcome and are now success stories. But there's a lot of success stories here. You know, I think that should be interpreted more, too. So this is a part of that first step. T.J. Thompson grew up in Gilpin Court and is studying criminal justice at Virginia Union University. He's set to graduate in December and has also written and published two books. I was glad I got my story out there. I told my truth and other people can be motivated by it. Having a role in the documentary was special to Thompson. His daughter, Tori, not only appears in Herd, she's also featured on the theatric poster and says being a positive influence to her was just as important as being one to his community. I just want my, my daughter and most of all my family to be proud of me. You know, I just want to um, do something great for the community and um, just get my story out there because it, it can't help somebody else. Heard is a Bell Tower Pictures production, which is a Richmond-based nonprofit, and spent a year shooting and another year editing the stories told by the people themselves. Producer David Powers says each of the residents' journeys are inspirational. The hurdles they've had to overcome uh, that I, as an old white guy who lives in the suburbs, had no concept of having to overcome some of those challenges. It's really amazing. I grew up in Jackson Wall, which is called Gilpin Court. And back then, and with the time spent with these families involved, Power says he's also come to form a bond with the group. So their depictions on screen and how they ultimately would see themselves played a big factor. We consider these sacred stories, and we were curious and anxious about how they would feel about the way that we put their stories together. And, and they, were, they were very kind and enthusiastic um, in approving of the way we did it. They interpreted it very well, top notch. Like, like I said, <laughs> it's epic, it was epic. It's, it's just beautiful, man, it's beautiful. That's Grandma B girl. You say hi? <laughs> mm -hmm. After having a socially distanced special premiere, Heard is now set for several scheduled screenings throughout Richmond and other cities, including Boston and New York. It can also be viewed on the Virginia Foundation for Public Media's website until it airs nationwide on PBS. Thompson says that will help get his message heard far and wide. I can't change everybody's perspective of how, how it is out here and how, how we live and stuff, but I can give some hope to some people some people behind me for sure. And producer David Powers also said he hopes viewers come out with a different and positive perspective of the residents who live in public housing and that the voices heard in the documentary resonate to help lead to solutions of change for their community.